And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to talk about the connection of the frame rate and slow motion effect. When you want to create a slow motion effect, it makes a difference what frame rate your video has. I've got two different video files right here in the timeline. The first one, it's already a slow motion effect. But if I wanted to slow it down further, for example, right click, speed and duration, I make it 50%. You can see that now looks very choppy. So you can see the individual frames. And the reason why is the frame rate. Let me go to the video, right click and properties, and we can see the frame rate is 24. So 24 frames per second. And if we add this slow motion effect, so 50%, it's going to be only 12 frames per second. And a human eye can separate them. So a video file with such a frame rate slowed down will be seen as chopped and not as seamless. Let us go to the next video file. It has a higher frame rate. And once again, I right click on it, speed and duration, and I make it 50%. And if I now roll it, it still looks like a video file, so not chopped. And the reason why is it has a much higher frame rate. Let me right click on that file properties, and you can see it has close to 60 frames per second. And therefore we can easily add this 50% slow motion effect to it. And this is something that you have to keep in mind when you want to create slow motion effects for your videos. Always watch the frame rate of the video files that you've got and record your videos accordingly. So just use a higher frame rate if you know that you want to add a slow motion effect to them. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.